What could be better than summer drinks in the garden? Well, we can't think of anything else, so let's start the show. So have you decided which order in which we will be having these drinks? Uh, should we have the rosé first and then this and then this maybe? I don't know. What, the rosé and then the slow gin and then the no, beer? No, the beer. The beer second. first? Beer second? Or, or, or first. Oh. Beer first? Beer first. Do you want to? Well, I don't know. What is that saying anyway? Is it beer? Liquor before beer. Liquor before beer, no fear, or is it beer before wine? That's absolutely you fine. You won't be fine. You won't be fine. I, don't <laughs> I honestly don't think it matters. Welcome to our summer drinks special, and Paul and I have selected a few tipples for you today. Uh, so we're going to start off with the beer, then, are we? So we have this Mythos beer from Greece and. This is 4.7%. Uh, um, I think it's a lager. Uh, yeah, we picked it up from Little actually. It was on one of these special deals that they had. Um, you know, once it's gone, it's gone. And um, well, we went in, and after we came out, still it, there. Well, well, it, that is slightly true. We went in the next day, and there was still one pack still there, and we got it. So it's all gone now. So. Um, so but it, yeah, so it is. We've never seen this before. It's Hellenic beer, and Hellenic uh, is the the old traditional Greek name. I think that that refers to anything from Greece. Okay, so it doesn't mean that it's brewed by some sort of Hellenic type monks or something like that. So I think we should we should try it. All right. Cheer. Oh no, cheers. Oh, you want to smell it? Now I do admit I've already had a few of these. Not today. Look. <laughs> Got my Guinness shirt on as well. Look, I don't so. have mine on. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Let's try this. Mmm. It's very refreshing. Light. And light. And what I would say, I suppose it's almost like a bit of a, a Spanish oh, tint off it as well. Estrella Dam. Perhaps. Something like that. I think it's probably. I was going to say Mediterranean, but, but Greece is more isn't sort of... Isn't it kind of yeah. Mediterranean, though? Yeah, it's, well, it's that sort of area, isn't it? Um, but I, I do like this, and I think the word that you would use for this is quaffable. You like that word, don't you? You asked me, actually, last night we were watching quaff. something, it's and quaff you said, what mean. does quaff mean? Just, just drink it know, up. Drink it up. So, cheers. Mmm. Delish. Now, as you can see, we have all the drinks laid out before us, and we do admit we have taken a few tips from the great Alan Titchmarsh. If you watch Love Your Weekend, then you will know what we're talking about. So, thank you, Alan. Thank you. And also, I should also note that I've taken inspiration from the great late Terry Wogan, Sir Terry Wogan, and Blankety Blank for our microphone, which you probably need to see beyond the bottle there with our lovely little stick mic <laughs> microphone and hopefully uh, you can hear everything we're saying otherwise it's a total waste of time although we do have a second camera over there so shall we try the next one yeah okay on what is it number two I'm still on number one well I'm still drinking number one you explain what number two is so the second one is this Côtes de Provence. It is a French rosé. I got this from Lidl. Was it expensive? Four ninety nine, probably. I'd Maybe say. five, something like that. Now the thing is, when it comes to wine, I'm very picky, aren't I? I won't drink red wine. Can't stand the stuff. It just tastes like vi vinegar to me. It's it isn't vinegar. Well. I don't know, but I, I don't. 
I don't think that your palate is accustomed to it. And white wine I've got some difficulty with as well. Um, I don't mind the champagne area. No, of course. Or the sweet um, white wines, um, dessert wines. But rosé, I'm fine with. You like Riesling? Do I? Are you Riesling with me over that? So this is the Côte de Provence. How many percentage is it? 13. And it doesn't give us much more information, really. So, so I guess we just have to drink it. Why don't we just quaff it? Yep. Okay. Lovely colour of pink. Very subtle sort of um, aroma. It smells of peach, maybe, or um, raspberries. Mm. Mm, very fruity little number. Yes. The fruits aren't that discernible. It's very light. And what I would say is, look, it's it's got the colours of summer. Colours of summer. Well, we hope it is anyway. Cheers, anyway. We hope summer is not a complete washout. So, But we are <laughs> en enjoying this evening. And uh, what I will say as well is that we are having drinks in the evening because it's a great way when the day has sort of, you know, the heat of the day has mm. passed. You might want to sort of wind down in the garden uh, if you have one. Uh, or you could go to a beer garden or you could go to a park and enjoy a nice little evening tipple when the nights are long. And if you're, of course, if you're in Scotland, in the north of Scotland, you could be sitting out till 11, half past 11 at night and still relatively daylight very very quaffable that's one of the joys of summer i think mm. especially in the north of scotland and of course you know northern ireland as, as well i was used to uh, the sun not going down till way after 10 o'clock um in late june early july and then you know it's, it didn't really get dark mm. properly until midnight um and at three, half past three in the morning, it was it was getting quite light again. I can remember when I was 18, driving back from a, a nightclub in Derry, Stroke Londonderry, at three in the morning and the sun was coming up. I hasten to add, Marvelous. I was on soft drinks the whole night. Cheers. Ooh. Not tonight. Not driving. Mm. On to the third one we have on the menu. The third and final one. Ooh! We will endeavor to have more next time. Well, we have I to save promise. some. We have to save some for another time. Thanks for watching our show. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. I can't promise. This is quite a large glass, and you've got orange in here, haven't you? So, so slow, explain what we've got here. So this is a slow gin fizz. What is that? It is gin based. It's a gin based liqueur. Um, it's like a uh, concoction that you would have. Um, it says it's a sparkling blend of white wine, mixed forest fruits and slow gin. Okay, the slow gin part is um, you're supposed to have it with um, a slice of orange and then oh. I also have like a bunch of ice cubes in there yes. for uh, the extra uh, crispness of mm. the drink. Now, is this a drink that you could have all year round? Because I have a feeling that <laughs> this is left over from another festivity at, win at winter time. I don't know what you're talking no. about. No, but anyway, it's it's got the same color as, as summer. As summer, so. That's why we're having it now. Let's try it. I've never had slow gin Cheers. before. Cheers. Oh. Gosh, it's really sweet. 20%. 20%. This is 20%. Do you know what? This was the strongest one. So we went from 4.7 for the beer to 7 um, to 13. 13 and to now 20. this is 20. Um, uh, uh, well, it's how come it's... Uh, no, it says four there. Oh, sorry. I think you've got your beer goggles on. Do I? Yeah, it's only... Bloody hell. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's only four percent. And there, I think you were trying to trick me more, more than anything else. So I was going to say, oh, yeah, it tastes a bit like an Aperol <laughs> Spritz, which is a bit higher. 
in the alcohol content. I think content. I got it mixed up. Sorry. Mm. Well, we shan't complain. Um, I guess the... 4% isn't bad. No, I guess the sweetness of it comes from the concentrated oh, oh. forest fruits. <clears throat> <coughs> because what you're doing, you're um, exposing the natural sweetness. But I still don't really understand the difference between gin and slow gin. I don't know either. Well, perhaps you will need to write to us on a postcard, please, with the answers. Or, and there could be a prize. Or they could say it in the comments section below. Yes, you could. Please do comment and please do subscribe as well. And also like. And like, yes. Or you can dislike if you like, if you think this is absolutely dreadful. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> we hope you don't do that. Mm. Okay, so... Going back to it, which is your favourite one of the day? Well, you know, I think each one has its place. And there's perhaps like a slightly different sort of occasion for each one. I don't think you'd go out on a session and think, well, I'm going to start off on the beer, then I'm going to go on to the rosé wine and finish with a slow gin. But if I was to choose one, I think I would go for the slow gin because I think I haven't had it before. Um, it's not overly strong with the alcohol, despite you thinking it was 20%. Um, it, it is a little bit on the sweet side, um, but I would reckon if you drank it slowly, um, you'd get on okay with this. What do you think? I also like the slow gin because you could have this instead of a dessert or pudding. So, ah. so this would be your sweet at the end of the night. So I think yes. you could have more alcohol, just have it in this way rather than having your pudding. And if you're like me, if you've gone out for a meal, um, I find that if I eat, I can't really drink alcohol, never mind have a pudding after, afterwards. If I have a, like a small meal, I can enjoy a few drinks, but what we tend to do is to drink on an empty stomach. Yes, I know, it's going against <laughs> reason. Um, and then eat after that. But on any occasion when we have gone out having a meal, drinking with it, and then having a dessert, we go home with extremely painful stomachs. And when you've got a stomach the size of mine, that is a big lot of pain. But I think that we should all drink responsibly and within and know our limits. Well said, yes. Uh, so it's basically choose which drinks you like the most. I hope that you will give these drinks a try and see for yourself what works for you. You can tell I like this because look, I'm still drinking it. We have more. Oh, a top up. Don't mind if I do. Oh, well, save yourself some. Oh my goodness. Well, I think while we finish this, it's time to say goodbye for today and if you're having a little drinks party at home enjoy it have a really happy summer and cheers everyone happy summer cheers everyone bye bye, bye over there too <laughs> have we had the entire bottle now yes mm. we did mm. and i think can you add other fruits to this too you've added you orange can, to it you can add strawberries or whatever you have because um Recently, we had a nice bottle of Prosecco, didn't we? And we added, uh, or you added, a strawberry to it. Do you know what? We could, yes, you could definitely do that. It will in enhance the flavor of the Prosecco. And I actually think, or well, you wouldn't tell from this, but if, <laughs> if you have fruit in it, I think with, certainly when we had the Prosecco with the strawberry in it, I drank it a bit more slowly. I think because I was savouring it with the strawberry and then of course you get to eat the fruit. And it's infused with the Prosecco. Yeah, but if you eat the strawberry, it's one of your five a day as well. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to be biting into the orange after this though. But I it's infused. Mm. I'm confused. <laughs> Never mind infused. Oh, too mm. much. What do I want to have? Not sure. I'm going to stick with this one thing. I think for now. Mm. Mm-hmm.